This segment is the camaraderie question of the week. Now, every week, we are going to share a question that you can take to your teams, to huddles, to your Zoom meetings that will prompt interaction between people. The kind of interaction that leads people to find things in common with each other. Bosses build camaraderie on teams by making it easier for people to find things in common with each other. When people find things in common with each other that have nothing to do with work, they access each other's humanity. And when we access each other's humanity, guess what happens? When somebody messes up, when there's a blunder or an error or stress is really high, it's less likely we, that we take our stress and strain out on each other. It's more mm -hmm. likely that I look at you and say, oh, that's a good person having a bad day. And so bosses have to care about camaraderie. And so we are going to bring a question to every episode that you can turn around and use every week. And before I tell you what our camaraderie question of the week is, uh, let me tell you the other reason why we're doing this. It's because most of the icebreakers and team builders on the internet suck. They're really awful. Uh, I do, do they this, do, Joe? They, they suck. I, I know that's not everybody's favorite word, so maybe I'll use a different word. Um, they are, are bad. They're just, I do a lot of staff development work and team facilitation work. And, and, you know, I'm always looking for new ideas. And sometimes I even have days where I'm just tapped out and I'll think, let me turn to the internet and find another, uh, you know, there are smart people out there on the internet. Um, and let me find Stop. some better questions, activities. Let me see what's out there that maybe I haven't thought of in a while. No. <laughs> if you, if go ahead, Google team builders. Google no. icebreaker questions. The stuff that comes up, you read it, and I think I wouldn't. I wouldn't ask my wife that question. I would. <laughs> that would be intrusive. I'm not. I'm not going to take some of this stuff to my team because if I ask them this question, what we get back will will not lead to camaraderie. So we are doing this in an effort to create a big database of questions you can take to your team from time to time to prompt camaraderie. So Alyssa. Our first camaraderie question of the week is this. Ooh, 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 I'm so excited. In what board game or card game are you nearly unbeatable? Oh, wow. Well, here's the thing. I have a six and a half year old son who won't let me be unbeatable in anything mm -hmm. because he has to be unbeatable in mm -hmm. everything right mm -hmm. but i think if i would hearken back to my before child days it would be dutch blitz have you ever heard of dutch blitz what is no what is dutch blitz oh my gosh maybe it's just a like a mennonite community thing because that's how how i was raised but uh, it's in the mennonite and the amish community it is a fast-paced um family oriented card game like you're busily laying down numbers and co color coding and all, it's it's amazing um my dad's family used to play this at every huge gathering and there would be tables full of dutch blitz cards going on so dutch blitz is my answer and it's a standard mm -hmm. deck of cards it is not a standard. No, no. These are Dutch Blitz cards. You have oh. to go and buy the actual Dutch Blitz cards. They have cute little faux Amish characters on them. But <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So, so is the game then? It exists predominantly in the Amish and Mennonite community. I, uh, it, I'm assuming so because I've never played it outside of my my uh, extended family. So okay. yes, and it would be. Uh, confirmed by your <laughs> look of what the heck is that? <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> and and you were nearly unbeatable. What made you unbeatable at the game? Well, speed is a huge thing. Also, I'm not colorblind, so that was very helpful because <laughs> it is also a color coding game. Okay. Um, but I think it was honestly the enthusiasm of it was so contagious um it was like the great equalizer adults and kids alike okay. could you know it was a mix at each of the tables and so it felt like you could be a part of something yeah 
even whenever you weren't, you know, their age bracket or anything else. It, it was like the equalizer. Well, I am so I learned a new thing today. I'm so excited about that. A game I've never heard of. I'm I love playing games when gathering family together uh, is and playing you know board games and card games. I, I've been doing that for as long as I can remember, and so I I am so excited to potentially seek out, look at yeah, a new game, I, and I really identify with the whole my child has to win, right? <laughs> um. I, I will admit though that when it I dominate hungry hungry hippos with my my four year old um, and you know I know that I should let him win but listen the world is tough out there and and I'm not going to coddle you uh, you need to hit the lever harder faster you need to move those those hippo mouths you need to pull those marbles in uh, you need to get that yellow marble you got to want it right you got to <laughs> You gotta oh want gosh. it, but that's not my answer. That's not my okay, answer to okay. the question. Well, thank goodness. What is your answer? Tell me. Oh, tell me, Joe. The the game in which I am nearly unbeatable, and everybody in my family who is listening to this right now knows the answer. Uh, it's Monopoly. Oh. Oh, that was that was not a happy O. That was a you're not a Monopoly fan. I, I to me, it's like the greediest person wins. Maybe that's not. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely true. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know well, and, and Monopoly is a commitment, right? Because you gotta like if you're gonna play Monopoly, that's that's an hours long commitment. That's a maybe I gotta go to bed and wake wake up the next day and finish it. Yes. Kind of thing. Uh, but I remember even going back since I was like. 12, 14 years old, playing um, with my stepsisters, playing with cousins and whatnot growing up. And and you're absolutely right. I was and am ruthless, right? I have family who won't play with me. I'm really a nice person if you if we've not <laughs> met. I'm, I'm warm-hearted. Alyssa will tell you. But I don't know why in, Mon- in Monopoly, um, I want it all. I, 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 I want to build my empire, um, take my thimble, my my Ooh. character oh, of your, choice. That's your thing. My thimble, okay. yes, um, and and crush anyone that that I'm playing with. And I have I have strategies, right, to 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 do that in the game. I have things I'm trying to do, um, and and wow. so whenever we pull Monopoly out, I get all excited. I'm like, oh, we're gonna play Monopoly, and my kids are really excited for like the first twenty minutes, and then <laughs> it, it goes bad from there. I feel like there's a lot to unpack there, Joe, and I'm kind of reeling because I did not see Monopoly as your thing, mm. and so I kind of need to take a step back now. I don't know. Are you reevaluating uh, our partnership here? This podcast here? may need to <laughs> take a sharp left because knowing that you try to dominate at Monopoly, it it, it does do things to my brain. And and I should say for the record that I've never done like there are Monopoly tournaments and there's rankings. You know, I I think that's not what I'm talking about here. Right. I've never gone onto the Internet and looked up Monopoly gameplay strategy. Okay, (laughs) Okay? it's never been like that. (laughs) Really? Let's Google search. We we should go back and look because then I would wonder maybe maybe I'll become even more dominant. (laughs) (laughs) I think that this is why this is an amazing question Okay. that folks can ask because, yes. I mean, how long – we've known each other for years and years and mm-hmm. years, and I had no concept of your monopoly prowess. Uh, my maniacal viciousness, yes. <laughs> my, my desire to conquer the false paper money-filled world of, With your of, real, of, of Atlantic symbol. City real estate. On a board with a thimble. Yes. <laughs> and so now you poetic. know. And that is our camaraderie question of the week. <laughs>